What's up? It's your boy. Um, with another video again, you know, week two of uh, MLB rankings, you know. And, uh, you know, this this is just on the week, so there's nothing prior to this counts. So, yeah, uh, if you guys are new, please subscribe. If you guys enjoy the video, like the video. And uh, next week we'll have more if, if, this, if these, like, next couple of them are good. So, yeah. Okay, so we start off at number one. We got the New York Yankees, obviously. Uh, you know, well, you know, they have Aaron Judge. You know, they have the bullpen has been pretty dominant. Garrett Cole has also been pretty dominant. Uh, yeah, just overall a good team. And uh, Aaron Judge just was a monster this past week. So, yeah. Uh, number two, we got the Dodgers. Corey Seager, absolute monster for him. Their pitching has been absolutely great. Uh, well, yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to get these fast so we can all squeeze them into this 12 minute video or so. So yeah, uh, the record was seven and four. The Cubs again, uh, good starting pitching. Uh, their offense was pretty good. Uh, not as good, not as good as the Dodgers or the Yankees, but also pretty good. Uh, but they also had a weak schedule, so uh, you know that's why they're not that high. But uh, yeah, pretty good last week. The Twins are number four. You know. You know, all around, they're pretty good. Good starting pitching. Uh, you know, that lineup in the Twins, Donaldson, Nelson Cruz, you know, they're bound to wake up. They're bound to wake up sometime. So, you know, they're just pretty good. They're, they're pretty good. And last week, they also played pretty good. So, you know, yeah. The Padres, you know, starting pitching. Their starting pitching was amazing according to what I read and what I saw. So, yeah. Uh, and they had a solid offense. They beat the Dodgers yesterday. So, uh, you know. They look pretty good. Number five, we got the pod. I mean, oh wait, number six, we got the Rockies again. Starting pitching, surprisingly, starting pitching in in Coors Field, it's been pretty solid. Uh, yeah, and um, yeah, that's about it, bro. Um, but their offense need, needs to get better because Arenado is not playing very well. So yeah, they just need a better offense. But their pitching, if it keeps up like this. They, they they might be a contender with the Dodgers, not with the Dodgers, but like a wild card or something like that. Yeah. Uh, number seven, we got the Braves. You know, they uh, you know, they'll get better. They they weren't very good this week, but you know they they I think they went for, no they didn't go out. They they went seven and four. And uh, Swanson went off. Only thing good, I mean not only thing good, but you know one of the standout players in their team this uh, week. Number eight, surprisingly, everyone's surprised. About this team, the Orioles, they have solid p pitching uh, as they swept the Rays and uh, they put up a fight against the Yankees. And uh, they also, who did they, also, who did they beat? The Red Sox. They demolished the Red Sox. So, yeah, they're going uh, They're going above 500 and, uh, you know, they're pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Number nine, we got the A's. Uh, you know, they have, they've gotten a slow start, but they're starting to pick it up back up. They're starting to pick it back up. So, uh, you know. You know, this towards the end of the week, they're, they're, they're picking back up. Same with the Astros, but the Astros, they, they were worse. Their pitching looked lost. Their hitters looked lost. Their big three are just complete dog shit. Maybe because they don't know what's coming. And they're like, no, no, okay, no, no, no. But, yeah, they're just not very good right now. So, that's why they're below the A's because I think, like, the A's uh, ended off the week a little bit better than them. I'm sorry if you guys hear my little brother in the background. Um. So, at number 11... We got the White Sox. Get, I'm sorry about my brother. So at 11, like I said, we got the White Sox. You know, they have got pretty good offense, still at young core. Uh, I expect them to do good stuff. And last week, they were playing decently, better than the Indians, but not better than the Twins. That's where they're not top 10. But yeah, 6-4, and four, that's their record. Nationals, eh, they were all right. Uh, Soto and Strasburg are still not on the team, so I really can't judge them off of that. But they played all right. Uh, record of three and four, they'll get better. The Indians, uh, they look pretty abysmal, especially their offense. Their offense is completely crap. Uh, yeah, I hope that. Uh, but Beaver looked really good. Shane Beaver uh, looked pretty good uh, last night. Uh, who, what was it last night? I don't know. But Clevenger got absolutely smacked one of these, these uh, either Saturday or Sunday. I don't remember. But yeah. Uh, so and then uh, number fourteen, we got the Cardinals again. Just eh. They, Played five games. They're two and three, so I don't really know what to say. They just put them in the middle of the pack. Uh, I expect them to do pretty good, so I'm just going to put them there. The Reds, disappointment. The disappointment of the season. Everyone thought they were going to be good, but they're pretty trash. Except for Bauer. Bauer's playing his mind off. He's carrying this team. 
And uh, this team is five and five, so uh, you know that's pretty good. Uh, Sixteen on the surprise, the Tigers. The Tigers exceeding expectations. I thought they were going to be like the worst in the league, but right now they're pretty good. And uh, you know, five and five as well. You know, just the middle of the pack team. Uh, Brewers. Yelich is complete crap. So uh, you know, if Yelich isn't clicking. The Brewers aren't going to click either, so uh, 17 for them. Giants, another team that are ex exceeding expectations. Um, but I, I don't expect this to to keep on going. So I, this week, I'm probably going to be down in the 20s again. But yeah, uh, 19, we got the Blue Jays. You know, they they look all right, I guess. Yeah, they, they look okay. So 19, Blue Jays. I mean, 20, yeah, 19, Blue Jays. 20, we got the Rays. This team, I don't know what's happened to them. But, you know, starting off, it looks pretty good. But, uh I mean, not starting off last year and like the first two games looked pretty good, but this week, uh, I don't know, man. Something, something's off with them. They got swept by the O's, and that's not good. Blake Snell and uh, yeah, Blake Snell did not look good at all. Their pitching is doesn't look very good at all. So yeah, uh, number twenty one, we got the Marlins. Obviously, the Marlins didn't play, but they started off really well, and uh, you know they went two and one. They started off really well, but then this whole thing. Uh, COVID thing just happened, so uh, you know, really can't say anything about them. Uh, the Mariners, they're, I don't know, they could play better, but I don't know. The Rangers as well, their offense is really poor as well as their pitching sometimes is really iffy. But Lance Lynn is, 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 is pulling through for them, so that's about it. Uh, the Phillies again, they're one and three, but then again, they've only played four games, and uh, they got well, they didn't get destroyed by the uh, Yankees yesterday, but. You know, they took a little bit of time off because of the whole Marlin situation. But, uh, you know, I expect them to do good. But, you know, since we don't have enough uh, games for them, you know, they're just back here in 24th. But I expect them to get better. Uh, the Angels, number 25, you know, Mike Trout left them. And that's all I got to say. Shohei is still not good and uh, at pitching because a uh, hitter, he's all right. Uh, the D-backs, they're just straight terrible. As well as the Pirates, the complete crap. They're complete crap. So that's twenty six and twenty seven. Number twenty eight, the Mets. You just can't. I can't make this shit up. The Mets are completely trash, especially the bullpen. Like everything's all right, but the bullpen. Like if you have a, you better have like a ten run lead, or else these guys are gonna blow it in the seventh to eighth inning. The Grom yesterday with ten strikeouts, I think they look pretty dominant. But I, I don't know if they won or not. I, they, I don't know. I don't know, but still. Jacob DeGrom is the only good player on that team. And uh, poor Jacob DeGrom. Uh, number 29, we got the Red Sox. They look pretty lost against the, Yan against the Yankees of that series. Their pitching isn't great. Their offense looked absolutely lost, like I said. Uh, but, yeah, that's number 29. And at 30, we got the Royals. I really can't say anything. The Royals are the Royals. And they were pretty bad. So, uh, you know, that's about it. Uh, so, eight minutes. On. I mean, yeah. If you guys enjoyed the video... Uh, so th th those are my rankings for week two. Uh, uh, next week, every single Tuesdays, I think. Yeah, Tues Tuesdays, uh, I'll be doing these type of videos and seeing and comparing them from last week. Uh, but yeah, this week, best team in the Yankees, worst team in the Royals. Nothing really big there. Uh, yeah. So if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you guys like this type of content, subscribe for next week. And uh, subscribe if you guys just uh, like... Uh, background gameplay or some shit like that. I don't know. Just, I don't know. I'll see you guys later.